layout tool for print media. In InDesign CS4, Adobe has added a bunch of new features and functionality to make it relevant as a layout tool for online media as well. Specifically, InDesign can now export to the flash file format, or SWF. Here what we have is a mood board for a magazine, a pitch, if you will, to the client to, to describe what the magazine might look like, uh, logo studies, uh, what colors, what fonts, and so forth. And you'll see what I'm doing is I'm clicking through this interactive mood board. Uh, I'm playing a Swift file in the browser here. And this whole document was actually authored and created inside InDesign CS4. So let's jump back over to InDesign and we'll actually see very quickly how you might author something like this. So here I've got my layout just like we'd normally have for a print document, but I've got some buttons that I've assigned some actions to to go to the next page and the previous page. If you take a look over the buttons panel, I've already got a rollover uh, assigned to it where it changes color. I've got a go to next page action on the right button and a go to the previous page on the left button. In addition to turning the pages, we want the pages to actually have a transition as we apply the, as we turn the pages. So I'm going to select the pages in the Pages panel, and from the Pages panel flyout menu, we'll choose a page transition, and up comes a dialog box where I can actually get a little preview of the uh, transition that I might want to use. I'm going to use the uh, wipe transition. I'm going to click OK, and that'll apply the transition to all those pages in the spread. The Page Transitions panel comes up where I can edit the settings if I want. I'll skip that for now. I'm now ready to export this document to SWF. I'll go to File, Export. And from the options, I'll choose SWF. It brings up a dialog box where I can choose uh, some export settings. I can scale it to a particular monitor uh, size. I've already scaled this for uh, 1024 by 768. I can choose to include the buttons and the interactivity that I authored, including the, trans the page transitions, and this neat thing called Include Interactive Page Curl. I'll go ahead and click OK. And the default is to view the exported file in the browser after exporting it. And you'll see, just like I showed you at the beginning of this video, I've now got an interactive Swift with a wipe transition. And if I put my mouse in the upper right-hand corner, this is the interactive page curl that it did for me without having to do any code. So there you have it. InDesign is... Uh,